It's time to apply our inverse trig skills to trig equations. These are going to be a lot like regular equations, except they have trig functions in them, obviously. So what I want to do here is do some u substitution. And u substitution is, I think, never necessary, but often, um, often a good idea. It makes things simpler to look at. If you have these two equations, one with the 5u and the other with the 5 sine, you might think the one below it is much easier to solve. They're really the same equation. And I could do it this way. I'm going to solve it and say minus 3u on each side, and this becomes 2u equals negative 1, and u equals negative 1 over 2. Okay? So that was pretty easy. Now, what is u? This whole time, I was making the substitution u equals sine of omega. See, everywhere in the top equation up here, where I saw a sine of omega, I replaced it with u. So now... Remember, you, don't want, you weren't solving for u in the first place. We were solving for omega, whatever that is. Sine of omega equals negative 1 half. Okay. And now your job is to think about the unit circle. And I always think about this visually. I think, hey, sine, that thing right there is a y-coordinate. And I need a y-coordinate that's pretty shallow. Okay, negative 1 half is not a big value. So that looks like one of these two side angles right here. And those, from experience... Since this wants radians, not degrees, you might be thinking, oh, that's 210 degrees. Well, that's true, um, but this didn't want degrees. It wants radians. So that's going to be these two answers. Omega equals, let's see, 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. These are very, very useful to keep memorized. All right, so that's an example of a fairly straightforward one. This next one looks a little more complicated because the angle is all janky. But just think about it as u, okay? u equals tangent of some angle, and this angle happens to be called pi over 2 minus omega. But, so when you rewrite the equation, you see it's pretty simple. 3u equals 3 square root 3. So that means u equals square root 3, which means the tangent of some angle equals the square root of 3. Now, tangents are another thing I have memorized on the unit circle. And I know that the radical 3 values of tangent are up here and down here. Okay, those are, those are my radical 3 spots. So that is going to be some angle. Oh, let me write that in here. Pi over 2 minus omega. So pi over 2 minus omega equals, well, one of those was pi over 3. And the other angle from my unit circle, uh, looks like 4 pi over 3. So now we just solve each of these equations separately. I'm going to say omega equals pi over 2 minus pi over 3. And what is that? That's pi over 6. Just did some of that in my head. And this one says pi over 2 minus 4 pi over 3. Now that I... That I don't think I want to do in my head. I'm just going to write that out the long way. 3 pi over 6 minus 8 pi over 6. I'm not making any mess-ups. Which makes this negative 5 pi over 6. Now, you may be tempted to circle that and say, yeah, I'm done. But remember, this wants a certain interval of 0 to 2 pi. And negative 5 pi over 6 is not in that interval. So what we have to do there is find a coterminal angle. Remember how to find coterminal angles? You add 2 pi to whatever your angle is. Or subtract 2 pi as you need to. But this is going to be negative 5 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6, which makes 7 pi over 6. And there's your other angle.